I'm back. Really though, I am back. I felt like I had to take a little hiatus from cars for a while just to kind of, you know, get my thoughts collected. The world's in a crazy spot right now and you know, you never know what might happen next. But realistically, I haven't done anything to my car since the last video that I uploaded and I honestly don't know what to do. I'm kind of confused with everything. I have way too many projects. I kind of swamp myself. So I'm going to take some time to reevaluate everything that I'm going to do. But first and foremost, I got to clean my garage because this place looks like shit. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Now that I got my garage somewhat figured out, I need to start planning what exactly I'm going to do with my cars. So first and foremost, I need to address the tercel. That cross member is about ready to mount on, so then that way I could figure out the positioning of where the motor's gonna sit. Since this thing was front wheel drive, I do have to cut out the entire trans tunnel all the way to the rear end, and then start mocking up what is essentially gonna be the new trans tunnel. I realistically wanna throw that 4AGE in there sometime by the end of this year, just so then that way I could have this thing back on the road. Uh, it, it, it isn't a fairly hard project to do. The only thing that's complicated is the fact that I'm carving the 4AGE instead of keeping it electronic. It is a front wheel drive 4AGE, so it didn't come with the right intake manifold. And not only that, but the original owner basically stripped most of the electronics off of it and uh, ran, I'm assuming, key and carburetors on there. I have the stock SR5 in that's currently sitting on the back of this thing. It's just not all the way mounted. Uh, I was originally gonna go with parallel four link, but I think I'm gonna go triangulated so then that way I can eliminate a Watts bar. That way I, I can eliminate any idea of having to mount up a Watts link or a Panhard. Uh, and plus this car is fairly light and it's not gonna have that much power behind it. So I don't think, I really don't think it's gonna have any issues with the triangulated four link. And next we have the Celica. Oh, Celica, oh, Celica. So realistically, I just gotta get both wheels on the front, get the brake sorted out, and then take it for a test drive just to see how the front is working, and then pull it back in here and start pulling that 22 RE out. It shouldn't be that hard. I should be able to pull out that whole entire engine and trans in probably four or five hours. It doesn't look too complicated. So then that way I can get the one UZ sitting in there so that way I can start mocking. Are you what? Hi. Oh. And then I also have the one UZ. It's been basically just sitting here. I still have to pull off the torque converter and the flex plate. That way I can start mocking up the new flywheel that I ordered. And then I need to basically take the wiring, open it all up, see what the full loom is gonna look like. And I actually ordered all brand new connectors for the one UZ FE from NZEFI. So that way I could build myself my own wiring harness. Yeah, I still need to pull the entire rear end off the LS400. I've just been super lazy and basically finding a reason to procrastinate, not do it. But I gotta pull that thing out just so in that way I can bring it over here and start mocking it up with the Celica rear end. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to cut out the entire trunk and basically redo the entire floor with some square tubing. So that way I can make the mount points for the rear end. I also wanna pull off the control arms in the front and extend them, probably 50 millimeters using the uh, villains kit but that's just something for later. And I mean, I still got my E36 that's down and I have an M50 sitting right there that I want to swap into it because I blew the gasket. I blew the head gasket on the old one. But fuck, man. I just have a problem of wanting one car and then wanting another car and then getting myself all caught up in all sorts of projects and never finishing one of them. So I'm gonna start trying out different ways that could possibly work for what I'm doing exactly to the cars. Cause yeah, this method is taking way too long and it's only making it sloppier and sloppier and sloppier. So I'm basically gonna break down my builds onto what has priority and what doesn't. What's easy, what isn't. What's gonna be more cost effective, what isn't. And I can already tell you right now, the Celic is not gonna be the cheap one. So this video isn't gonna have any sort of building, any sort of work being done. It's just me kind of trying to get my shit together so that way I can figure out what I'm gonna do for the next ones. So the problem isn't that I don't have content, I do have content. The big problem is getting myself in gear and coming out here and doing the work and actually making that content. And to be honest, it's just, it's been hard. It's been hard, I try. So right now, I just wanna focus on the Tercel and the Celica. I feel like I can get the Tercel going. Basically everything is there to get it to run or at least to be a full rolling chassis. I just need to put in the work. Uh, right now with a lot of the steel stores and welding supply stores being closed due to the, due to the whole crown thing, um, I gotta work with what I got. Luckily I have about, luckily I have a four by three sheet of 16 gauge steel. I have a big old sheet of half inch and a big old sheet of 316. And I have over like 30, 40 feet of tubing. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So this video was just gonna be a me trying to give you guys a catch up with my life. I'm not dead. I didn't disappear. I'm really just stressed out and lazy. So I'm gonna 
kick myself into high gear. I do want to get these projects finished. I mean, I already dedicated so much work into trying to get the Celica to where it is. It's no point in me just quitting right now. So next week, I'm going to start dropping a whole bunch of videos. I'm just going to start busting my ass as soon as I get my days off from work. And I'm going to try to knock out as much as I can. But for right now, uh, all I could do is just clean my garage. It was incredibly messy in here. You couldn't even comfortably walk without having something that you're gonna step on or having something that was in the way. And especially getting the cherry picker from one side to the other, oh my lord, I don't wanna talk about it. So now I'm a little bit more comfortable, I can come in here next week, feel fully refreshed, and be able to just knock out some projects. But uh, that's my video for today. Hope you guys stick around and thank you everybody that's been subscribing to me lately. Even though I haven't been uploading any content, I am gonna be putting up some more videos for you guys soon. So yeah, thank you to everybody that's been subscribing lately and thank you to everybody who's actually found my content somewhat entertaining. Or if not, at least gives you something to watch during this whole thing. Hope you guys stick around. I'll have a new video for you guys next time. Late.